Hi, hello. What is up, Zoomers? Zooming back with a brand new video, and we're gonna play some Hustle Cat. So, I've been wanting to play this game like forever. And once we get into it, you'll see why. So, just enjoy! I've always wanted long hair, so I'm going with long hair boy. Alright. I think I fell asleep on the couch again. Oh. Little lasers of sunlight were, are zapping me right in the face from the middle of the curtains. I think they've been specifically aimed to burn out my eyes. Uh, look at that sleepy boy. What is it, like noon? Jeez. Not my fault. This couch pulls you into, in like drowning in bread dough. My spine pops in loud protest as I swim free from the bread dough, from my bread dough cushion trap. I'm gonna have to apologize to my Aunt Wendy. I'm probably leaving a dent in the shape, leaving a dent in the shape of my ass and the cushions. I'll probably have to apologize for a couple things, actually. <laughs> Damn, that's me though. If I had my own apartment, it'd be a mess. Just a fucking mess. Okay. I know this looks bad, but it's almost not even my fault. I love this shirt. Oh, you. This is fucking adorable. Okay. I know this looks bad, but it's almost not even my fault. I can't help that clutter is naturally drawn into my gravitational pull. Honestly, it makes me feel a little more comfortable, you know? Like, I really live here, instead of just like, I'm couch surfing at my aunt's. <laughs> or like, I'm living in a future catalog, furniture catalog. <laughs> Not that I'm grateful, ungrateful, Aunt Wendy is awesome to let me use her apartment while she's away. She helped talk mom and dad into letting me come all the way out here to the city too. She's pretty cool. I hear rustling behind me like fingernails on cardboard. It makes me pause for a second but I jump up as I realize what it is. Hey! Mochi! Knock it off! Mochi. Yeah, mo mochi shit. The living room trash bag disguised as a cat <laughs> stares up indignant indignantly from the other from inside the pizza box. He's trying to scrape some dried up cheese off the bottom again. His little mushed up face is probably trying to stare me down, but it's kind of hard to tell where he's looking from with those crossed eyes. Mochi. Wow. I clap my hands a few times to break the stalemate. He jumps at the sound, then waddles back to the bedroom in defeat. I guess since I'm up too, I might as well get to whatever I'm going to do today. I shuffle to the curtains and throw them open. My laptop is still sitting open on the coffee table. Oh yeah, job searching, I guess. And my laptop, oh, I guess that's what I was going to do. I plop down on the couch, already sinking back into the curtains, cushions, and take a look. Jeez, there are like so many tabs here. Which one did I leave Greg's list <laughs> open in again? Not that one. This one? Or this one? Maybe this one? Nah. That's just another cat video. I was up all night watching Jelly Donut, the cat who balances donuts on his head, her head. I have no idea how you get a cat to do something like that. Guess, that, guess that's why Mochi and I aren't internet famous. I find the tab and start scrolling through listings again. It's not like anything new has gone up since yesterday, I bet. Sidewalk cleaner, intern, 
college credit only, internet com comments section, proofreader, fundraiser street team intern unpaid. Yeah, it's been like this all month. Can you really blame me for giving up and watching cat videos? I guess this kind of thing is supposed to take time, but t try telling that to mom and dad or my savings. Any of those could send me back home at any time. And I really have to get this done before Aunt Wendy gets back. Just thinking about writing another cover letter is making my will to exist a road away. I'm going, I'm going to go for a walk. Yeah, you do that, Avery. You do that. Hold on. Let's turn my light on. All right. When I get here, I ex when I got here, I expected to be buried in noise from the city's traffic and crowds, but it's actually pretty quiet. The apartment is on the side on a side street, far from the main street bustle. From here, the noise of the city are just a distant hum. It's comforting, like a buzz, like the buzz of an old tube TV. I'd have to walk like 20 minutes to get to the train from here, but I rarely leave the neighborhood, so it doesn't really matter. Still, living a small town life in the city, I guess. Whatever, I got plenty of adventures in this neighborhood. I can just set out in any direction and find something new. Even if I've been down that way before. Sure, I get lost a lot too, but that's half the fun, right? I turn a corner at the end of the block, heading uh, at the end of the block, and head up a tiny side street I haven't tried yet. Neatly arranged trash cans lie on the side of the road. I think it's been I'm behind some stores right now. I'm inspecting a dead end, but the road suddenly curves to the right. It looks too narrow for cars. But to fade, but the faded white lines marked the middle seem to claim more brave drivers could try their luck. <laughs> I decide to follow the sharp bend in the road after I passed past a tail tall partition. Yeah, partition. I'm surprised by what I see. A cat's paw. Oh. A squat three. A squat three stories building painted so austere that word bright in bright it's it'd be impossible to miss sits in front of me a cat's paw is this a pet store or something maybe I can get a dumb toy for dumb mochi as I walk closer to the front doors of the building I don't see the aisles of pet food I expect from the broad store windows. Instead, it looks like there are couches and tables and neatly arranged rows. Oh, so this is one of those pretentious restaurants with a pit pithful, pithy, pithy? Nonsense name, huh? I can feel my interest deflate and sink into my stomach. Just as I'm about to turn and continue walking, I notice the sign in the window that declares, Now hiring, inquire within. I'm hardly dressed for a job inquiry, but I might as well give it a shot, right? I look to my right as I walk up to the door and see a little orange and white cat lying belly up, sunning itself inside the window against the window. It doesn't seem terribly sanitary to have cat in a cat in a restaurant, but whatever. I like cats. Bell tingles tingle delicately as I tug on the handle. The heavy door creaks open. Oh look at the gear. This is the gear. This place is so classy it feels fake. It looks like a game board exploded in here. Isn't this, isn't that what the palace was like in Wonderland? Like, with, 
with the cards and stuff is a purple cat going to start talking to me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> Though none of them are purple, boy, are there a lot of cats. I think I can count at least eight off the bat. They're all over the place, romping around the floor, sleeping on some of the built-in structures on the wall. I barely had time to take it all in when I hear a voice call out to me. Welcome. <clears throat> what kind of voice do I want to give him? I'm, I'm going to assume it's him. Um, hello. Welcome. Please sit wherever you'd like. I shuffle in place for a moment, at first unsure of where the voice came from, then of whether I want to sit or if I want to keep this sturdy, this strictly business. Um, actually, I start as the source of the voice looms into view. He appears suddenly from the second story landing and covers the length of the floor in a few strides. Um, uh, you look confused. Is this your first time here? Would you like me to explain a bit about how the cafe works? I'll be happy to give you a tour. His eyes are gentle. He's one of those people who smiles with his entire body. It's positively infectious. Actually, I'm here about the job. Oh. His pause is brief, but it worries me for me a little. Is it really that surprising that somebody would come in and ask for about a job? Did I do it wrong? <laughs> oh, great. We don't get a lot of responses. I think it's because Mr. Grave only puts the sign up in the window. He doesn't want to advertise anywhere. Good thing I came in then, huh? You're right. His smile is broad, but his eyes creep to the back of the cafe like he's looking for an escape. Okay, you can take a seat and I'll go get the owner. He'll be able to tell you a little more about what he's looking for. You got it. Oh, and what's your name? Avery. Avery, cool. I'm Landry, nice to meet you. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't know why I gave him surfer voice, but I don't know. He's surfer board now. He's bound, he bounds up the stairs and disappears. I begin to sit at the little cafe table, but freeze halfway as a near faint faint exclamation of dismay is it's followed by thundering footsteps then by Landry's return Avery I'm so sorry what I didn't offer you any coffee would you like some oh don't scare me like that sure you got it he vanishes into the back again and reappears carefully balancing a stout white mug atop a black saucer in one hand and a tiny creamer in the other. Gently, he sets the mug and creamer before me. I forgot to ask how you like your take your coffee, so I brought you some milk. There's sugar on the table if you'd like. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I, Avery just goes, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll check with Graves this time, I mean it. Landry bounds to the back room and, and is again out of sight. A Siamese cat timidly peers at him as he goes, then directly at me with wide eyes, worried look. I'll give it an awkward smile and nod before I realize I'm treating a cat like a stranger in an elevator. I dump most of the milk and three sugar packets into my coffee before I can get it to a consistency I like. 
I pour what should be a little splash of extra milk, but half of the creamer's worth spills in. It's almost, <laughs> it almost overflows. Now, this cat looking at me like it's offended by what I just did. What? Like a cat knows anything about coffee. Then Landry returns. Uh, he's not alone. This is Graves, the owner of the cafe. Graves, this is Avery. Hmm. He looks like he should own a bookstore that insists it sells tombs, not books. He looks like he should own a bookstore. Damn, going with the roast, bro. Can I get on Avery's level? That insists it sells tones, not books, or maybe like he sells crystals that balance your chakras. Or maybe this is what the owners of cat cafes look like. I've never seen. Ah! His eyes, they're two different colors. I can't focus on both of them at the same time. Which one am I supposed to look at? My attention is sucked into his icy blue eye. He, is he wearing a contact to complete his dark renaissance look? I think it was his eye. No. Hmm. Hmm. I think it was his eye. Yes, it was this. <laughs> he had the eye of her. Vulture? He had the eye of a vulture. Pale blue eye with a firm film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. And so by degrees, very gradually, made up my mind to take the life of an old man and thus rid myself of the eye forever. Oh wait, he was speaking. Excuse me? Telltale heart, you were looking at my eye. Kids, don't you read that in high school? Well, yeah, but... I read... I read yes. Heterochromia. It's more common in cats than humans. What a weirdo. I'm not sure I want to work for the, a guy like this. Hey, you do. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. I might as well humor him a bit if he's the guy I'm gonna sign my paychecks. He can rattle off as many weird cat facts as he wants. Graves. Would you mind telling Avery a bit about the place? I think it'd be good if you talk about what we do here. Graves looks like a notion is causing him physical pain. I'm not too keen on this idea either, Chief. You don't do that. Don't you think it sounds better coming from the owner? You're gonna to you're going to be doing the interview anyways. Good point. Landry, this cafe would collapse into rubble without you around to keep me on track. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Avery, I didn't pr prepare a speech or anything S speech so you'll have to forgive me I don't like that voice oh my god dark in the voice dick 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 all right Avery <laughs> Victor all right Avery I didn't participate in speech so you'll have to forgive me I'm a little surprised to hear that, but I guess they aren't any Poe stories that he can quote for this situation. 
I'd like to take care of the stories. I like coffee. I like good desserts. I like beautiful room. I want a place where I could have all of those at once. That's how a cat's paw was born. The cats here are from the neighborhood. Usually they want to come here so I don't have to convince them to come in. Forever home. Pity, hate that term. But the kids who want to be adopted are listed on the wall over there. I'm a good matchmaker for people and kids. I can tell who who's a good fit for the kids in personality. If they meet my standards, they've got a new family member. <laughs> this voice has like evolved into like so much Victor. It's good you help them find homes like that. Well, if I had the room, I'd just keep them all. He totally he totally means that, doesn't he? Cool. I get to be interviewed by a cat hoarder. I don't know. It probably it's probably better that way, right? Who knows? Follow me. We'll talk on the second floor. Before he finishes the sentence, he's already three steps up the stairs onto the balcony. So much for the introduction to the cafe, I guess. I shake my head a little and follow him. After all, I really need a job. Ugh. We make our way up to the second floor balcony, which, except for us, is only occupied by those amazing looking cakes in the display case. I wonder if I can get a slice on my way out. Graves leans down over the balcony of the cafe and raises his voice to the people below. Or to the cats. I guess since cats are the only things I can see from here. Hayes! Will you get the other... Will you get us some coffee? Is that the chef? I haven't seen anybody here besides him and Landry. Oh, I already had a cup. Is that going to stop you from having another? You can't have enough coffee, especially when Hayes is the one making it. I don't think I met Hayes. You may have, you may have not. You may not know yet. Graves folds himself into the slander chair at the corner table. He pushes the opposite chair away from with his foot, nudges it, and just enough to turn it towards me. Come on, sit down, let's talk. You don't have to be so stiff. Interviews are boring. Make it interesting for the both of us. No pressure, huh? Grave sits with the sort of grim pomp, pomp, like he's pomp, grim pomp, like he's sitting in a skull throne and a raven's going to land on his shoulder at any time. Maybe it's sh it's more like he's about to roll a die with a lot of sides. <laughs> I bet he's a nerd. I take the seat across from him. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. Eh, <laughs> okay. You can talk, of course. I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tiny slip of blonde hair standing at the balcony entrance. Ah! I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anybody come up the stairs at all. Is this guy a ghost? Graves looks like the type to hire ghosts. He looked terrified at my shout by my shout. I think I scared him more than he scared me. Gingerly, he set two mugs in front of Graves. Thank you, Hayes. But you should give Avery the other mug. 
He sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Uh, uh, of course. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. He pushes the cup towards me without looking back. Oh, um, thank you. Graves ring, Graves ring clacks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect as always. I don't know what I'd do without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. Nope. It's nothing special, really. No. <sighs> Shy boy. Um. It's, it's, it's nothing special, really. He talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. If, if, I, if that's all, I'd like to get back to the cats. That's fine. That's fine. He slips back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. Great ninja. He, that kid would make a great ninja. I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring up at me from, from the phone. It's so cute! I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. Did Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess, but it could really use some more sugar. There are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin, ruin the cat phone. Now we can get this going. Let's interview. I'll even start you off easy. What's your favorite cat breed? I'll go with um Siamese. Stumpy tails, cats that look like they're wearing tuxedos. Scottish fold. I'll say a Siamese. Do you know any other language? How about Cyprus? I speak the language of thumbs. I wish I could say that. Hey, yeah. No. What marine animal would you say best represents you? One. What genre of mu music would you describe? Classical coffee. Working hard, hard working. Children sing along. Chip tunes. On a scale from one to ten. Point five. Dracula or Teenage Wolves. I'm Teen Jacob. Just kidding. Interesting. He looks down at his coffee cup and tilts it idly towards him. It looks like he's enraptured with a foam as it dip, drips from the side of the cup. I drop the cough. A drop of coffee spills into the soft serve. I suppose you'll do then. Does does that mean I got the job? That's quite a suit. Or that doesn't really answer my question. You can stop tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wow, thank you. Don't run off yet. I have paperwork for you. Oh, yeah, of course. Grave pushes away from the table, coffee cup in hand, he nabs my saucer, even though I'm not quite finished, and slinks down the stairs. He returns as if he never left, draining 
trading the oak empty coffee cup for the small stack of papers in a pen. He places them in front of me. So, what will my job be? We'll see. Did did he did did he hire me with no position in mind? Is this how this guy usually works? I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. I take the papers and skim them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X in a line. What's it all for? And why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff, I don't know. Who cares? I've got a job. I push the paper back towards Graves, and he e eagerly scoops them off the table. Perfect! We'll open, we open at 11. Be here at 8. We'll have you help with the morning prep. With the morning prep? My displeasure must be pretty apparent because his mouth cracks open into a smirk. You can work a later shift after training. You won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Eh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Now go. I have a lot of work to do before the mor work tomorrow. Eh. Tomorrow. Now, uh, now go. I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get a work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. Okay, okay. He seems lost in his own world now, poring over the paperwork I just filled out. I guess there's a lot of sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with, with hiring people. Why would he do it so casually? Well, whatever, not my problem. I head down the stairs, laundry, back. He looks uncomfortable waiting at the foot of the balcony. He perks up when he sees me. So? I'll see you tomorrow, co-worker. Oh. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. You can meet everybody else tomorrow morning. Um, I'll sh make sure they're all ready for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me, Graves, of course. You met Hayes. Finally, Mason, Reese. That's it. You should take. It shouldn't take too long to get to know him. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow then. Great. See you. The fuck out. Woohoo. I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. Do I really though? Hey.
I got lost and I didn't end up painting anything. But it was a nice walk. As I head home, I get this distinct feeling of being followed. I didn't really know that was a thing that actually happens, but it's hard not to notice when you see someone move some movement out of the corner of your eye. I turn around, a sleek black cat stands in the middle of the road. It sits down when we make eye contact and thumps its tail testily against the pavement. It's got different colored eyes. I guess heterochromia really is pretty common in cats, huh? Should I, like, try to bring it to the cafe? They take care of strays there, after all. I should try. I crouch down as slowly as I can and reach my hand towards the cat, beckoning it to me. It doesn't move. It make those little noises <laughs> that seems to work on some cats. I'm sorry, guys, okay? Chill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't intended for you. Uh, work on some catch. This one doesn't seem terribly impressed. It pins its ears back and looks away, still for a moment before standing up and shaking and slinking into an alley. I guess I should just leave them to the professionals. It's time to celebrate. I'm gonna wreck this pizza I grabbed from Pizza Lloyd on the way home. I picked up a can of wet canned food from Mochi from the corner store too. I figured we both deserve a celebration. Mochi, get your fat lump out here. I have good news. No answer or indication he's even in the same room. You know, he never even asked how my day was. I know how to do this. I walk over to his food bowl and crack the lid of wet food. In a flash, he's at my feet, tail shaking like a, a motor behind him. Come here, you big moron. I give him a little scratch behind the ear before I dump half the can into his bowl and the feeding frenzy begins. He acts like I never feed him. Whatever, I'm gonna go do, I'm about to de go Whew. Whatever, I'm about to go do the same to this pizza. After a quick jaunt to my free to free myself from the shackles of free myself from the shackles of non-pajama clothes, I flop back down on the couch, dinner in hand, laptop in face. Oh it looks like there's a new jelly donut video. It's a it's a video of her sleeping in a donut box. I love that dumb internet cat. She's always doing something ridiculous. I wonder how her owner gets her to do those tricks. That flooring seems familiar. Where are they filmed? I spent the rest of the evening picking through video archives. I can feel myself sinking into the bread dough couch cushions. Sleepy time. Actually, we're going to leave it off here. Um, if I go any longer, then this video will be long as hell. And, yeah, I don't want that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know why, but I've made Gra Graves this fucking accent. I don't even know what accent I'm really doing. At this point, it kind of sounds like it's Scottish. <laughs> Terrible, terrible fucking imitation of Scottish, but I guess that's what we're doing now. So, yeah. Um, if you liked, leave a like. Uh, sub. Don't forget to drop that subscription right down there. Um, yeah. Cats. <laughs>